Okay, so hi guys. Today I'm going to do the second part of my mini series on hair. So today I'm going to talk about some styling products that I use and also um, more treatment products that I use on my hair. So mainly for me, I wear my hair just a couple ways. I usually wear it down um, like this. Um, I either have like a really deep parting or just kind of a more in the middle parting um, of my hair. And I either wear my hair um, straight like this or curly or sometimes I'll pin my hair up into a twist or wear my hair up but those are a little bit more rare. So to start off I'm going to talk about um, two products that I usually use um, right after I get out of my shower and I have um, damp hair. So the first product that I use um, when I want straight hair is um, this John Frieda Collection um, Frizz E Straight Fixation. Um, it's a smoothing cream, so basically what you do is you use about a dime size or sometimes a little bit less of this product and you just run it uh, through your palms and then you just run it into your hair. So mainly I concentrate on the ends of my hair because that's where it's the most dry and that's also where um, it goes more like in a curly fashion because the top of my hair here is actually quite straight. Um, and I also use this in my bangs because my bangs tend to curl up as well. So um, I really like this um, because this does not weigh down your hair. It's actually quite a um, more lighter formula and it doesn't really have much of a smell to it either. Um, you only need a little bit of this. And um, this product here is, again, in that 10 to uh, $15 range. But again, I get this at Walmart, so this is a $5, $6 product. And um, I find that it does keep your hair nicely straight, especially the roots. Um, I find my hair does not react good with humidity, so when outside is really humid, my hair tends to frizz up really badly, and I end up getting, like, little kind of curls around the outside of my hair, and it's just really gross. I really cannot stand that, and that kind of, this product here eliminates just a little bit of that. It's not the best, um product but it does work for me so I do like this and I would recommend this if you do want to look for a straight balm. Another product that I use um, for kind of the same purpose is this um, Bain de Terre product. I'm sorry if I'm butchering the name um, but this is what it looks like. So it comes out in like a squeeze bottle form as well like this. And inside is just like a clear serum -y type thing and this is supposed to be a recovery complex spa therapy for stressed hair. So basically it's, it relaxes your hair a little bit so it um, makes the um, frizzies go away for your hair. So I use this um, when I do like curly hair or if I just want it to be a little bit more natural looking. So again, this is like a serum, but it's not oily, so it does not weigh down your hair. Um, I find that this product does work really nicely, but I don't know where to purchase this. I was actually given this as a gift, and um, I've never seen this in any of the stores, not even like the professional stores that sell um, high-end products. I've never seen this in the salon either, so if you guys have seen this, like please let me know where you've seen this because I'm almost out of this and I would like to really purchase another one. Um, this one here, I've been using this for a really long time because you really don't need a lot of it, maybe just like five, six drops of it, like again like a dime size, maybe a bit smaller, and again you just like uh, warm it up in your hand and just run it through my hair. I don't use this at my roots again because um, I'm scared of like getting oily roots, um, so most products I use just on the ends of my hair where it's the driest. Um, another product that I've been using for a while, um, I don't use this as often anymore, but it's this John Frieda Frizz Ease Hair Serum. This is in the Extra Strength. Um, this is a hair serum that I first tried when I wanted um, more of a straight hair. Um, this is more of a, a serum-y type thing. It's a clear liquid as well, but it's a little bit more... Um, dense than like a serum like this. It's not as runny. Um, this serum here, I use this in my damp hair because I find that when I use this on dry hair, it's really oily looking and it does not do much for your hair. Um, this serum is not the best that I've tried. Um, it kind of smells like 
a Barbie doll. Like, you know, when you open a new package of a Barbie and then you, you kind of smell the Barbie's hair, this is exactly what this smells like. So if you guys know what I'm talking about from, like, Barbies that you played with before or from your kids or from your um, nieces and nephews or your friends' children, like, you'll know that that's the exact smell of this product here. So um, it does work for me, um, but again, like, when it comes to weather and climate, it's this product doesn't really do anything. It still makes your hair frizz up when it's humid, um, but it does control it a little bit better. Um, so two products that I use like all the time, regardless of whether I have curly hair or straight hair, um, is the first product that I use is this Oscar Blandy um, Dry Shampoo, which I got at Sephora. I think this was about 20, I want to say 22, but I'm not too sure. Um, basically what it is, it looks like a condiment bottle, and then it's just got this um, piece here where you can uh, pour out the powder. I've actually, um, I like the smell. This smells like lemon, so it's got this nice fresh scent, and it does leave your hair um, less greasy looking. So I just put this kind of like aim it at my roots here, and I just like rub it in as if as I'm wearing, I'm using a shampoo, and then I'll comb this out with a comb. So um, this is the only dry shampoo for me that I've tried so far. I haven't tried very many dry shampoos, but this is the only dry shampoo for me that I've seen like good results with. But for this, like if you do use it in the morning, as you go up throughout your day, at the end of your night, um, your hair is still a little bit more greasier um, than when you put this on in the morning because it doesn't hold up as well. Um, so if you guys know of any dry shampoos that have just helped uh, held up for you guys for the entire day, like please let me know. I'm really interested in finding like a dry shampoo that does like wonders for your hair basically. Um, the only reason why I use this in the powder version is because I actually bought the exact same brand in an aerosol version and I hated it. Not because I didn't like the formula, the formula worked just as well and it was actually much easier to use it in an aerosol can because you just like lift up your hair in the root areas that you need it for and then you just like spray it in and it goes in wet and then you just kind of like put it around, like mush it around in your hair and comb it out and then it dries and it actually sucks up the moisture much better than I think the, um, the form this does because this goes on like white powder so you really have to make sure you blend it into your hair nicely otherwise you're going to have sort of like grayish looking hair and that's not a really nice look. Um, but the aerosol can really sucked because I bought it, it was $18, I just got a small bottle of it at Sephora just to try the product first before I went for like the more pricier large can, but thank god I only got the small can because the aerosol broke on me. I only used it twice and then it got clogged, like it got clogged so badly that I had a full size bottle of product left, but the aerosol wouldn't work, so I just had to throw it out because I didn't know what how to, what I was supposed to do to make the aerosol work. And like I tried everything and it still didn't work. So that was garbage, basic garbage. Do not get the aerosol version of this dry shampoo. You will be wasting your money. Um, I use a heat protector because I do use a lot of heating products. Mostly um, I find that it's really hard for me to wake up in the morning and have gorgeous hair that I would like to go out with. So um, again, I wash my hair every other day. So then the dry shampoo does help to eliminate a little bit of that grease that I get in my roots. It's not too bad because I don't really have dry, I don't really have oily hair. It's quite n uh, normal for me. Um, but every day, like, if I'm going to style my hair with the heat product, I use the heat protectant. This is from Tresemme. This is the um, heat tamer spray, and there's a lot of rave about this product because it is a really good priced product. I think this is only about three, four dollars for this, and it comes in a large 236 ml bottle, and it's got a spray can, spray aerosol here, and this aerosol I like because it does not get the product stuck inside. No matter how much you use this product, the aerosol will always work. Um, and it's got a really nice smell. It smells like the Tresemme shampoo, so it's got this floral clean scent, and um, what I love about this, because I've tried a lot of different um, higher-end 
um, heat protectants, which kind of do the same thing that this does, but this is just at a great price. Um, I find that this one, it's not sticky. It's a really light formula. I concentrate most of this on my roots because sometimes when I want the volume in my hair, I actually um, iron, like today what I did was I ironed my hair with just mostly concentrating on the bottom so that I could get my frizz out and I could have more structured straight hair instead of losing the volume on top. If you start your iron from up here, you will lose a little bit more volume. It's going to be sleeker and closer to your head, which is not the look that I really want. So, but sometimes you want that look because you do want like really nice sleek hair. Um, <clears throat> this pedicure here is, doesn't dry your hair and also it doesn't leave that sticky residue that I found some heat tamers do. Um, it acts almost like a bad hairspray. Like you, you put it in your hair and it's like crunchy. So I do have a product that does that, which I will show you guys in um, my next videos in this mini series about products that, for my hair that just did not work for me. So, um, and it was like you know a, a three times the price of this one here. So that was a real disappointment. Now that jar just sits around at home, which I don't even know what I'm supposed to do with it. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend this heat tamer, especially if you're going to use heat products, um, especially if you use a lot of heat products. You want to make sure you use this because your irons are a very high settings at like 100, even at 100 degrees up to like 2, 3, 400 degrees, you are going to burn your hair and when you burn your hair you're going to get a lot of more um, like split ends and your hair is going to crack on the bottom and it's going to look really, really dry, which is what you don't want because your ends of your hair is the driest part um, and you want to keep them moistured or at least like maintain them so that they don't look like a big fried mess. Um, and, um, yeah, so those are the products that I use for styling my hair. Um, as I said, I don't use a lot of products. I don't have hairsprays. I don't have gels. Um, basically, this is kind of the products that I incorporate into my routine. Um, some things I don't use as much as others, and some things I use every single day. So I hope you guys... Um, like the products that I share with you guys and you do uh, feel inspired to go out and try them. But if you guys have any suggestions for um, products that are similar to these ones or even better at a better price or more readily available, like please let me know. Um, I'll be really grateful for that. So thank you guys for watching my second part of the mini-series and please stay tuned for the rest of the mini-series. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.